Hey, hello there everyone. How are we all doing today, my amazing people? I'm sure we are doing perfectly well. For those that have been with us all this while, I say thank you so much for your support and love. And I wish God blesses you all the way through life, right? I'm Lady Gora. Thank you to our channel. And for those that are just coming new, you are welcome. Eh? Today we'll talk about uh, conceiving. It's a wish for every woman to have a baby. Every single woman wants to carry a bundle of joy, you know, wants to be called mama, wants to be called mommy. It comes with so much happiness, with so much joy. There is nothing that compares that when you see it and you see a little one smile back at you. Every woman wants to have that. But well, as we say, God is the answer to everything. And I believe that God wants to put a smile on everybody's face. But uh, there are some circumstances though that prevents us from doing that, you know. And uh, many a times I usually plead with my clients. It is good that first of all, we acknowledge the presence of God. Then we pray that God gives us a directory on what is actually happening with us that we cannot conceive because there are many reasons, so many different reasons. And your problem cannot be solved if we don't identify those problems, all right? Or the actual reason of you not conceiving. It might come from your, from your husband. Your husband might be suffering from low spend count or from erectile issues. Then you, the lady, you don't blame yourself. It means the problem is not you. All right. That means that we have to handle the man differently. But if the man has been ruled out and it's the problem now, it's you. Then we start looking for other reasons. If it is spiritually made, because if it's if the background is from a spiritual side of it, there is no way you will con conceive. Whether you're taking the medical, or the white man medicine, or traditional uh, medicine, it will, you will still will not conceive, because when it is being done spiritually, you know they are kind of you know they tie you not to conceive. It makes everything impossible. So it is good that we clear off the spiritual part of it. Then you start taking your treatment. Don't argue that fact. Because with a lot of evil, I've had so many clients that have come, they have toiled, they have gone through hell to conceive. They have spent millions, but they still cannot conceive. See, when they came and we ruled out everything and picked out, okay, this is spiritually made. We handled that part and he was like, boom. Not long and he conceived. Yes, it's no magic. You just need to clear off some of those things and then you start your treatment. When you clear off the spiritual part of it, every treatment that can, can easily work on you, whether it is the, the, the medical section of it or the traditional part of it, it easily works. All right. Now, another phase there is if it is uh, your tubes that are blocked. Because if your tubes are blocked and it's preventing you from conceiving, we have to clean that off. You must clear that. Open the tubes, clean them so that everything can pass through smoothly, naturally as it's made to. All right. So that the tubes can function well. Now, uh, uh, another phase is Think, checking it if, if it is uh, the seeds or growth, you know, ovarian seeds or it's growth or fibroid, then you take care of it. There is no way you can actually really conceive with, with uh, fibroids, especially if the, 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 the centimeters are big. If the fibroids is real big that it, it cannot, you know, it, it doesn't create space that you can actually conceive and the child, because the child needs space. The fetus needs space to grow, 
to grow large and big every month against weight is growing but with the presence of growth or seized it is practically impossible for those two to share a room so it makes it difficult so when you clean that off you clear that off then you can buy now the conceiving package and you know that you are going into the real game now you are at least clean all right and then when you are trying to conceive, please, ladies, relax. All right? It's no war. And we don't know how God works or the time frame that God had put out. Okay, this is when you will conceive. Because many of times we do use <clears throat> our psychology works on us now. The anxiety is there. I'm not stopping anybody from, you know, being... Uh, excited or having that anxiety i want a baby it's normal it's it's just okay for it to happen that way but then you need to relax just have fun take your treatment you know like you're taking any other treatment you might conceive today you might conceive next month you might conceive in six months our systems are not the same don't Put in mind that I must conceive this month. I must conceive next month. And then when it doesn't happen, you you, you are drawn out, you're, you're fed up, and then you, you will give up the whole thing. No, you have to be consistent with your treatment while being relaxed. Have fun. Enjoy having making love with your man. Just enjoy having sex. Don't go making love only with that conception that, I have to give, I have to be pregnant this month. I have to. And then when next month your menses comes, it's like, Oof, nothing is happening. It's like, I'm cursed. It's like, no, no, no. Psychologically, things will start going block. You now are creating your own blockage. Right. You are creating your own blockage now. So just relax. Everybody is not the same. I am working with different types of women you know our ages do different differ the the blood uh, group do differ there are some people who are biologically weak their blood groups are weak you know when you start taking treatment i usually start with five liters that i give somebody to consume some people con uh, conceive when they have not even consumed all the five liters and they are like boom i have a testimony she did she consumed just uh three liters of her treatment and she announced that I'm pregnant. You know, it's like, wow, that's nice. There are some people now that take 10 liters. There are some that go up to 20 before something happens. So do not compare yourself with some other person because biologically we are different. There are some people that their hormones are kind of proactive. There are some that have imbalance of hormones already. And in that case, we, we actually have to Try to balance your hormones. Set your hormones to actually be stable. Then you start with your treatment. Right? So, please, I know the joy that each and every one of us want. I know what it means when we are in labor. At times, you are in labor and you don't even feel the pain because you can't wait to carry your baby. All right? But anxiety at times kill the best of it all so just relax all right okay this is our conceiving package when we have cleared off all the other you know we have rolled off all the underlying causes that might be causing you not to conceive then you can buy now the conceiving package and start consuming it all right it's it's uh it comes like this inside the package is comes in smaller sachets like this you just boil this morning one sachet morning one in the evening and you drink it enjoy it just pray and then leave the rest for our lord to take care of all right with with this this is uh they call it mountain onions it's for seeds for growth we just pump this, but then you will not know it because I mix it with some other things to pump actually. And you see how the, the, the growth comes out in lumps. You actually urinate it out. 
no matter how big it is it flushes it out completely completely and then another thing that i want us to bear in mind now is if you are of uh the menopause age already and you know what menopause comes it's a natural phenomenon with women you know it's natural when you attend a certain age menopause pops in and menopause means little or no conceiving so if because there are some ladies that actually fight to have a baby till that end till when they have reached that phase so when you are already around your menopause stage you just have to keep your mind open that it might happen and it might not happen okay i, I in uh facebook i keep seeing all the women in their 60s giving birth to twins to you know to children so you might be our sarah of our times god knows everything and god can bless you at any given time but then just keep your mind open that it might happen and it might not all right so don't curse your medicine when you drink and nothing happens whereas you know very well that biologically your system is kind of you know reversing things already right so that said and done if you want your package you contact me and i'll tell you what to do and then the necessary procedures on what we have to do all right okay any questions you keep them on the comment sections below and i wish every woman peace of heart let god just bless every single woman out there with of the foot of a womb it was just one i know he will do it for us so in it all we always have to put our intentions in what we are doing while you are taking your medicines pray and leave god to do the rest okay well if this helped you and you enjoyed the video please don't forget to give us a thumbs up ring our notification bell and subscribe please so that when next the spicy vibes come up you will be one of the first to be notified thank you so much thank you for your time thank you for your support for those that have been there with us thank you so 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 much and thank you for your prayers be blessed